welcome to today's micro training video. So today's subject is going to be hard hat. So as you all know, we do offer different types of hard hats, especially whenever you are new to our company. We're going to give you a hard hat that's going to be orange, right? So it's not necessarily that you're new to construction. You're just new to our company and our policies and procedures, right? So this one's main objective is to keep you safe out there. So everybody sees an orange hard hat, they know you're new, you might not be aware of certain policies we have in place. One of them, for example, is like the two eyes, 20 feet. So that means I gotta stay 20 feet away from any piece of equipment, and the operator needs to stay 20 feet away from me without making eye contact, right? As soon as we make eye contact, and then we give a signal like, hey, yup, it's clear, or hey, hang on, then we can proceed, right? Um, sometimes we are wearing, you know, like this one, indoor, outdoor safety glasses. Sometimes we're wearing the dark ones. And you can't really tell if you really did make eye contact or not. So that's why it's good if somebody sees you, the, you know, good wave or yeah, come through or hey, hang on a little bit. That type of signal, make sure you are aware of what that means, right? And if you're unsure, just don't get close until you're sure. So the orange one, it's going to be a cap style one. It's not the most popular. But again, it's for your safety and the safety of everybody else. After 90 days, you're gonna be able to get a white hard hat. So it's gonna be a full brim just like this one, but it's gonna be white. So that just means you've been here for the over 90 days. We haven't had anybody yet wear a hard hat over those 90 days, but that's just usually people that are having a hard time getting accustomed to the culture here, right? The safety, the safety culture. So this one's gonna be the 90 days. You'll see blue ones like this one. This just means that they're a foreman, supervisor, superintendent. So that means that they're gonna be able to, you know, answer a lot of the questions that you have. So look, for somebody wearing one of these hard hats, that's gonna be the foreman. And then a safety vest like this one, it's gonna be the green, lime green, right? So everybody else, if you're not a foreman, supervisor, you're not in that role here, you're gonna be wearing one of these orange safety vests. We're not gonna get too much in depth with these today, but this is what they consider a class two, right? This one's class two, this one's class two. If we are gonna be working near the roadway, so that means near public traffic, we could have to wear one of these. We can't use a class one. Class one is just usually lime green or orange, but no reflective material at all. That one, you can only wear it, especially like when the job site isn't that congested, especially with heavy equipment. If it is congested or we're working near the public roadway, we have to wear this one, the class two. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the hard hat. One of the most common questions is if you could wear a hard hat backwards, right? Especially with the cap style one. And there is gonna be a little thing in here that's gonna be two arrows kind of going around one and then two. It looks like they want you to recycle the hard hat. That's not what that means. That means it's reversible. That means you could turn that hard hat around, you know, so like on the cap style, especially, instead of wearing it like this, you could wear it like this, right? You gotta make sure that's okay with your foreman, first of all, because different job sites have different policies that might be stricter. So this is just from the manufacturer. This one has an arrow on here too. So as you can see, well, probably hard to see on here. I'll put it on the screen. So if you are gonna wear it backwards, you can't put this one on and wear it like this, right? So that's, you can't do that. You're gonna have to take out the suspension out of it. So pop this one out. The guts, what a lot of people refer to as. Pop this out. Then turn it around, put the front on here. So you're just gonna insert this, right? You have to make sure this suspension is inserted properly too. Because if there ever is an impact, this suspension is gonna be what's kind of keeps your head safe. The hard hat keeps it safe and the suspension. So they both work together. You can't just wear the suspension without the hard hat or the hard hat without the suspension. So now that we did that, it's okay with our foreman, right? Now we can wear it backwards. So, just be aware of that. There are some hard hats you can't do that to. All right, 
So, life, how long do hard hats last, right? That's another question. Manufacturers usually say five years from the date they're put into service. They're all gonna have a born on date. Born on date is gonna be on here. It looks like a little clock. It'll tell you the month and the year this was made. That's born on date. Not necessarily that's gonna be the five years from then. That's gonna give you an idea. But just remember when, like if you started with us, we know within five years, you're gonna need a new hard hat from the day you started. We work a lot out in the sun, so sometimes for employees that are working out in the elements, their hard hat's only gonna be good for two years, right? It just depends where you score it too. If you put it on your dashboard, that sun's always gonna be hitting it on the weekends, and then you're gonna wear it, so it's really gonna get, you know, the heat, the sun is really gonna affect it. So make sure you are inspecting it for any cracks, right? Make sure you look at it, there's no cracks. Anything looks off, or let's say something fell and hit your head, hit your heart at pretty hard, it has to be taken out of service. Let your foreman know, let one of the safety uh, managers know. We'll be able to get you a new hard hat. Not a big deal. I mean, it already saved your life once, and it did its job, right? We'll replace it. Um, if you do lose your hard hat, we're not required to give you a new one, so please don't lose it. We know wear and tear happens. We will, you know, replace it if it, there's a crack in it. Uh, especially sometimes in the loaders, certain types of equipment, you put it back there and it falls, then the seat goes up and down and it just makes it into a little pancake, right? We'll give you a new hard app. Just try to be careful with it. Treat it as if you bought it, right? So, there are gonna be different standards that it does have to abide by. So Z89 is one of them. Z94 is another one. So those are all ANSI standards. American National Standards Institute. It's just a nonprofit organization that puts, that kind of sets what they need to be able to resist, right? What type of impact. So as you can see, these hard hats are all class one. Class one is designed to just get an impact from above. There's no protection from the side. You get hit from the side, there's not gonna be much protection. Those are gonna be the class two. Usually they're using Europe, stuff like that, the class twos. Here in the US, we use class one pretty much everywhere. So unless there is that potential for that side impact, then that's a recognized hazard and we will offer you that hard app, the class two, right? So there's different designations. So this one's gonna be a G, general. So it's gonna be able to protect you up to 2,000 volts of electricity, right? Say you come in accidental contact with the live line, it'll protect you up to 2,000 uh, volts. Class E, kind of like what this one is, this one is gonna protect me up to 20,000 volts, right? If it comes into contact on accident. There's another one that's class C, and that one is just conductive. It's, it doesn't have, it won't protect you from any electrical contact, right? So, um, another question too, not necessarily right now, but when it gets cold, you know, a lot of people, me, myself, I'm guilty of doing it in the past, right? We'll put our hoodie on, and then we put on our heart out, right? So this is not recommended by the manufacturer. Why, right? Why do you think it's not? So, it takes away the suspension. The way this suspension works is it's gonna take that impact and it disperses it, right? So, if you put something underneath, like a ball cap, you know, the hoodie, stuff like that, it's gonna keep it from doing its job and it's not gonna absorb that impact. Your, your neck everywhere is gonna feel that impact, right? It's not gonna let it do its job. So it's not recommended, you can't do it. Uh, suspensions, their only, their lifespan is only one year, so 12 months. If you wear this for 12 months, right, everybody wears, some people wear gel, mousse, you know, different things. Other people have different stuff in their hair. It all affects this fabric, right? After 12 months, you gotta get a new one. So get with the safety department, you're forming. They'll be able to provide you with the new one. Um, here, we do offer sweatbands. So, because, you know, we do sweat, right? We're out here working. We do, we are gonna sweat. 
so we do offer sweatbands. So get with your foreman. We'll be able to cut this one off, take it off. This one is actually replaceable, but we do offer different ones. That way you could even wash it, stuff like that. There are some washable ones, and then you could have fresh ones. So that's about it on the hard hat stickers. Stickers is really important. So you can have stickers on here. You can't have too many though, because you still have to be able to inspect it, right? And if you have too many stickers, you can't really perform a good inspection. So one of the stickers that I like is this blue one. This blue one here at HEI means you're bilingual, right? You speak more than just English. So there's English, Spanish, English, whatever other language. And that just lets other employees know that I'm bilingual, right? So if you are bilingual, we'll give you some of these blue stickers, one, two, however many you want, put it on your hard app. You always have to have the company logo on there, so you always have to have that sticker. I like putting the names on the hard hats just because it's easier that way. If you are gonna put stickers, you gotta be at least half an inch away from the brim, right? From any edge of the hard hat, you gotta be half an inch away from there. That's per manufacturer, right? Especially if they're like class G, class E for electricity because they're afraid that you know, if you overlap it and come in here, it's not gonna protect you that much. But if you're half an inch away, guaranteed it'll protect you, right? Um, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and just put them on there. You're free to leave me. Um, if you want me to do a certain micro training video on a certain subject, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to do that for you. So, welcome to HEI, and until next time, have a good one.